Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey guys, James with the chart guys. It is Wednesday, June 21st. Gonna do my nightly video on gold. Gonna get rid of this picture. Um, so after four and two, three, four, five red days, we had a green day today. Uh, inside candle bear break had an, some more downside. We are defending this 200 MA on the daily. Uh, so we need to hold that base here and get back above the minimum 4 EMA. Going to look for that 8 EMA cross and retest the 20 EMA here, which is currently at 1266.70. Uh, again, on the weekly, we need to continue to set higher lows on these pullbacks. So we have this low, higher low on this pullback, another higher low on this pullback. So we need to continue to set this higher low. Uh, it would be nice if this is the bottom here for that higher low and we move back up and spy gold was looking uh trading opposite the spy earlier today so if you put up a gold five minute chart five minute chart here around 9 30 was moving up and spy had some weakness and started moving down um and Miners like to have nice big moves whenever the markets and gold go in the same direction. So we had this bounce play out here in SPY and gold was still strong at that moment. So you saw the senior miners towards the end of the day have a nice leg up here uh, right when that SPY bounce happened and junior miners should have gotten that same bounce um, if I'm correct. Yeah, got a bounce here with that SPY. Um, so for the miners, we got senior miners first. Senior miners, uh, trying to reverse here. We did gain the 4 EMA, I do like that. Um, next will be this 8 EMA test, which is currently at 2223. Uh, we need to, longer term what we need to do is still form a higher high. So I do like it if we do gain this, gaining this 4 EMA is nice. If we can gain that 8 EMA, I like the play to uh, move back above the 20 EMA on the weekly. We still need to break this pattern that we're in right now of lower highs and lower lows. High, lower high, lower high, lower low, lower low. Um, and it would be nice if we break that pattern by setting a higher low here on this pullback and then able to break above this recent high here of 23.86 on the senior miners. Junior miners. Junior miners, we have resistance now at the high here of 35.05. Um, same thing here, we have this high, this low, we have this bounce attempt, not really bounce attempt, more like consolidation before another leg down. Um, so we need to be careful that this isn't consolidation before another leg down here. And how we can be sure of that is we need to get above this recent high of 35.05. And then, uh, look, let me see if we regain the 8 EMA. We have regained the 8 EMA, we need to get above this 20 EMA. And then uh, I will have a little more confidence if if we're if uh, junior miner is able to get above the 3806 here which is quite a bit away so um as long as it's above the the adma you can continue to play it bullish maybe for a retest of the 20 ma 20 ma is still descending here so we need to find a base for the 20 ma to flat flatten and start moving back up and stay above that 20 ma uh, so have a good night and i will see you tomorrow actually let me check one more thing before i leave i didn't look at this chart today So let me move this. The US dollar Japanese yen, we are currently rejecting at that 20 MA back test. So we have this high, 
we have a lower high on the bounce attempt, this low, lower high on the bounce attempt. So we'll see if we have this low and a high set here now, and we're going to be in equilibrium where we have this a, a, a low, a high, uh, a higher low, and a lower high set, and we find some range until it breaks one way or the other. Uh, looks like on this weekly chart, draw a line here. Yes. Draw that line there. As far as the daily goes, daily, we could have a potentially a flag here, um, and we'll confirm that by breaking this recent high of 111.78. Um, and if we lose this 8 EMA, uh, like we did back here, and get a bear cross, then liking gold for more upside if it loses that 8 EMA on the US dollar Japanese yen chart. So I'm going to watch, monitor this. Uh, carefully and see if we lose it and then um, see how gold reacts to that chart. So have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.